One of them is this beautiful park and it's only three minutes walk away. journey right here in the center of Guadalquivir at the Santa Mary Park. Now this park is actually built in the uh, 19th century and it's famous for its large huge eight-point stars. That's why many refer to it as the Star Park. Now another attraction is this one of this dozen dozen of them you can see all over the place and that's why many also call it the Guana Park. The friendly and chill green iguanas known as the iguana from Guadalquivir. Since all reptiles are cold-blooded, they need the sun to restore the energy spent looking for food. These reptiles come down from the tree to feel the heat and settle themselves in a clear site, staying static for hours. In 1889, the equestrian monument to Simon Boulevard was built and the place was renamed Plaza Boulevard. By then, philanthropist Manuel Seminario made an important donation to renovate the park. Subsequently, it took the last name of this illustrious citizen. Across the street, there's a place to pray for my past sins committed on this trip. The Metropolitan Cathedral of Guadalquivir, or officially the Cathedral of St. Peter's. The current cathedral is a successor to Guadalquivir's main cathedral at the time of the city's foundings. The original cathedral was made from wood and located on Santa Ana Hills. This cathedral was destroyed in a fire in 1892. The current building was constructed in a neo-Gothic style between 1924 to 1937. It is getting late and we can all agree it's time to fuel up. One of the popular street food is shawamas. But there's something I really missed. So this is actually really refreshing Chinese food done by my from my hometown. You get, you get to see this uh, shrimp, rice, there's some noodles on the bottom and fried rice. It looks absolutely amazing. For dessert, don't worry, <laughs> I got you covered. You'll find tons of cheap eats, most cost less than a dollar, after Malcolm 2000, the name given to the boardwalk overlooking the Guayas River. We cannot forget about Ecuadorian ice creams, but most famous is churros, a fried toe pastry with an origin trace back to Spain and Portugal. Churros are generally prison in shape and may be straight, curled, or spirally twisted. It's fried until they become crunchy and may be sprinkled with sugar. Mm -mm. After sugar up, it's time to enjoy the rest of this Boa cast offer. The 2.5 kilometers is where the action is at night. Perfect for wife hunting. Okay, just joking. Uh, several of the greatest historical monuments in the history of Guadalquivir can be seen along its length, as well as museums, gardens, fountains, shopping malls, restaurants, bars, food court, and the first IMAX theater in South America. The most recognizable landmark is the Murray's Tower or the Public Clock, inaugurated in October 1842. The clock was bought in England by Don Manuel Antonio Lazarat, a rich Spanish merchant, a illustrious figure of the independence. The mountain ends in the north at a very old neighborhood born in the colonial times. It was destroyed several occasions by fire that assailed the city.
This is Lost Pianist. It's actually more than 400 years old making it the most historical and the oldest neighborhood in Guadalquivir. Now the name is actually taken from the limestones and the cliff that formed this hilltop. In 1982, it was declared as a cultural heritage of Ecuador. Located at the foot of Cerro Santa Ana, there is little more than to it than a short dead-end roads that are paved with uneven, century-old cobblestones. However, the colorful wooden houses here makes this one of the prettiest corners of Guadalquivir. Many of the houses have been beautifully restored, but part of the area that's charmed dry from is flaking paint and gentle despair of those who haven't. A couple of canyons standing by the entrance point towards the river, honoring the city's stewardess, resistance of 17th century pirates, and the street is dotted with few art galleries. Just a few minutes away is a little museum dedicated to the firefighters, established on June 1, 1979 by the Presidential Decree and officially inaugurated on July 25, 1982 under the same name of Colonel Felix Lucu Plata, one of the most well-known chiefs of the fire department. The site was also the first headquarters of the city's fire department, where it is located in a small area of the mezzanine of the old water supplier plant. 